Welcome back to Silent Hill 2, everybody. When we last left off, we were in the Moonlight Grove, and this place uh, is beautiful. It's one of my favorite places in the game. Now, we've just heard a girl scream. We've uh, been sort of dismissive, extremely dismissive to Maria over there about this place. But, you know, I, for one, am glad she uh, she sent us down here. Now, we're supposed to be going in that direction. However, if we take a sneaky sneak down here, we can find another strange photo. Church entrance. Photo number five, apparently. Curious. Also over by this brown paper bag, there is a health drink, which we really want. And just take a minute to drink this place in. What a incredible addition to the game, this Moonlight Grove is. And, um, yeah, I can only imagine the sheer quantity of tattoo potential this place has. In fact... <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, some some ideas are, are formulating in my head. Anyway, a friend of mine just had a load of uh, Silent Hill tattoos done. Actually, they look incredible. Um, so let's continue onwards. So where was the scream? I think it came from inside the theater. Inside the theater. Okay. All right. Well, let me just examine outside the theater to make sure there's no goodies. Oh, looks like we're clear. All right, well, we can't go through the main doors, but luckily there's this very obvious up and over situation going on. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you better wait here. Okay. Not much of a movie fan anyway. Nor me, to be fair. And James? Yeah. Be careful in there. Yeah. I'm trying to do a thing where every um, every week I at least watch one film. This is boring. Oh, little girl. Okay, well, it looks like we found the mystery of uh, who was making all that noise. A little girl and a gutless fatso. No problemo. Notice how they actually heard that. I thought that was quite cool. Now, it does appear that Laura thinks James is weird for mentioning the monsters. Hmm, I wonder why. Probably not important. So, let's have a little look around here. So that door's barred. And that door is also barred. Popcorn. Grab some bullets. Check the toilets. Always check the toilets. And nobody can complain that we're checking both toilets. Because we are the year of our Lord 2024. There we go. Ah, some nice artwork on the walls. Ooh, the washroom. Not going to go in there today. I do like the movie theatre. It's really cool. Ooh, I wonder why 
wonder what that toilet's like on the side. Well, who cares? There's bullets there. I wonder if that's like a disability thing or something. I don't know. So we're not going to worry about that. Any other goodies? Don't think so. Okay, let's head straight down. So that's the door that's blocked. Wow. Yep, again, no maintenance here either. So, either this place has gone bust or something else is happening here. Ah, it's a very old wooden seat here in this theatre. Okay, well, let's go have a little chat to this uh, chap down here. And I can drink coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah. Eddie? Oh, that beautiful music, man. Oh. Mm. You're, uh... James. We met back at the apartment building. Yeah. I remember. See that you didn't make it out yet. Mm, yeah. I just didn't get around to it yet. Well, at least you got your appetite back. Are you alone here, Eddie? Um. It's probably just Laura messing around. The little girl? Laura, is that her name? That's what she said. I'm gonna go look for her. You coming? Now you want me to come with you? Yeah, I think there's something, like, way more just disgusting about the fact that he's eating old defrosted ice cream. It's... Yeah. I mean, hey, whatever, I guess. Now, there is also a photo here somewhere. There it is. Best flavor. Best flavor of what? Lipstick, by the look of the things. Hmm. You know, girls can have some pretty nice tasting chat. Um, was it lip... What do they call that stuff? Lip gloss? I don't know, man. I don't buy the stuff. But, yeah. Some of it's really good. Um, right. Okay. Chapstick. And lip gloss, yes. So, he's just, like, chowing down on this pizza. Like, I mean... Surely this pizza's, like, ancient. Uh, but, hey, you know, that's one thing, though, uh, in all fairness. I do wonder if, in his version of Silent Hill, there's sort of, like, food everywhere and stuff, because it plays into his um, fat slob character. Yeah, huh. I just thought about that, actually. I wonder. Who is that girl, anyway? I don't know. All I know is her name. I swear. Well, didn't you want to go after her? Better hurry. Laura can be pretty quick when she wants to. <laughs> Suit yourself. And notice how he talks to us a little bit differently as well. Like, with Laura, he's... I don't want to say he's playful, but he's a little bit... Um, easier going. He's a little bit more chilled out. Whereas when he talks to James... He's way more distant and unfocused. Still, you know, I guess he just doesn't like James very much because uh, James didn't want him to come with us. Which is understandable. Okay. 
place looks pretty empty. Ooh. Now we're getting into the back rooms a little bit, aren't we? Good lord. Projection room. I was nearly a projector once in a movie theater. I did go for the job, but I turned it down. I forget why. Maybe I didn't get offered it, actually. I can't remember now. But yeah, I remember going to be a projectionist. It was when um, they were transitioning over from film to digital. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I don't think I got offered it, actually. Ended up getting something else. Imagine, like, if you're really into your films and stuff, it'd be a pretty wicked job. Oof, the ray tracing is really not having a good time up there. Probably not best to shout at her, James. Uh, you don't want her running off. I would just, you know, calm and collected. Just be like, dude, chill. Just just want to have a chat to you. Not going to, you know, grab your neck and do bad things with it. Not going to use your spine as a balloon animal. We just, just want to have a chat. I don't know if there's any goodies around. Nothing under that. Oh. Oh, we've come full circle. Laura, stop! It's dangerous! Well, she doesn't seem to be too afraid of the monsters, though, does she? Strangely. Maria? Did you see the little girl? Yeah, I tried to stop her, but she went that way. We can still catch her. Okay. Seems like a good idea. Let's go chase after the little girl because she may not be afraid of the monsters, but it's probably really not a great place for her to be. Just spitting some facts at you, you know? Let's take a peep at the old map as well. Brookhaven Hospital. Uh, one second, guys. Okay. <clears throat> right, so. Let's continue our exploration, shall we? So we're going to the hospital. Which seems to be a pretty solid place to go in this situation. Get nice and patched up and all that stuff. Ooh. This doesn't look good. Doesn't look good at all. I guess we're not going through there. It doesn't look like there's any collectibles or anything outside. There might be like a couple of packs of ammo or something. However, I have noticed something. <coughs> Excuse me. Dodgy throat. Oh, bullets. I have noticed that... Unfortunately, we've missed an item, I believe. So what I'll do, I'll go back off camera and I'll get that. That ain't no problemo. That liquid. What is that? Is everything all right? I... Yeah, it's just... This place, it just gives me the creeps. <laughs> I'm not sure why. You ever been inside? I, I'm not sure. It does feel familiar somehow. Like a bad memory. It's nothing, really. Let's have a good scout around the hospital. Because you never know. Hopefully we'll find some healing supplies. Trust me, guys, in the hospital, we're certainly going to be in for some chop. Now, 
I really do want to try and get the Maria ending, but unfortunately the Maria ending is like the most cryptic and most difficult to get. Ooh, and there we are. Brookhaven. This place, this place is proper nasty, but that's okay. That's okay because we have a gun and it's a good gun. It's probably, I don't know, I'm trying to work out if it's my favorite weapon in the game. Um, the weapons in this game, kind of like the original Silent Hill 2, aren't that good. Like, they're not that fun, they're not that exciting to use. You get a handgun, a shotgun, and a rifle. Uh, you know, it's not brilliant. But, you know, I guess they do the job. I think the oddest one out is the rifle. To be honest with you, because the rifle is like the most powerful weapon in the game, but it is just not good. I, you know, it's not a fun weapon to use. In the original Silent Hill 2, it was terrible, um, and it's difficult in this one to work out whether it actually does more damage. Ooh, we're getting some serious stutters. The curse of UE5. Well, here we are in the hospital. What can we have in this? Ooh, we've got some shotgun. Ammo. A singular shotgun shell. Is that a gun cabinet? In a hospital? <sighs> it's empty. Let's keep the zombies from getting out. Oh, that seems worse. So Shotgun safety rules. Safe direction. Keep your weapon pointed in a safe direction so that accidental discharge will not cause injury. But I mean, if you do, you're in the right place. Finger off the tri uh, trigger. Do not put your finger on the trigger unless you are ready to shoot at your intended target. Maybe they get bears around here. Who knows? Keep your weapon unloaded while in storage. Only load your weapon when you're ready to use it. Hmm. I just assume all buildings uh, in America have fully stocked weapon cabinets, you know? Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. That's my assumption. This area, oh, dude, look at the lighting, man. It's so pretty. So there's our map. Okay. Fully mapped out. So, let's start exploring, shall we? Where did she go? Where did she go indeed? I guess it is our job to ascertain where she went. Due to repeated instances of keys getting misplaced, from this point forwards, they are to be returned to the locker at the end of every shift. All staff are required to memorize the padlock combination and are not to disclose it to anyone but authorized personnel under any circumstances. In case of any problems, report to the head nurse in examination room three. Okay. What have you found, Maria? Anything good? No? No? The director requested the files of the three crucial patients. You know which ones. Could you please bring these to his office? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Ooh. Really? Medical cabinet with no medical supplies. We don't like that. Yeah, this is a very old hospital. It looks like there is a key in there. There is indeed a key in there, James. We should look around. Hmm. Well, I mean, in a manner of speaking, it is written down. Um, I am going to use the code, and then I'm going to show you guys where you find the code to. So, seven, two, four. Open, says me. What is it? It's the basement key. Huh. Just when I thought things couldn't get any creepier. That's uh, Fine. It's all good. Should we drop a save? I mean, I suppose we can drop a save. 
sure. I'm hoping I've got to save far enough back to actually go and get that item, but if not, whatever. Right, okay. So we can't go through there. This place feels so empty. Well, it's because it is empty. Remember, if you experience poor appetite or significant weight loss, insomnia or hypersomnia, loss of interest or pleasure in general, in usual activities, feelings of worthlessness or guilt, diminished abilities to think or concentrate, contact your health provider immediately. Yeah. Yeah, I think most of us have uh, felt that. Laura. Wait. It's okay. We don't want to hurt you. Glad Mar uh, Maria piped up. God damn it. We're going to get her, don't worry. Why would you write that? I don't think she likes me very much. But why? I uh I don't know. You don't know, James. You don't know. Surely you have some kind of idea. That elevator is out of action. But we can come in here. What was that? Not sure. So we can't go through there yet. Yeah, so to get the Maria ending, like you can't smash glass and things around her, but it is kind of difficult to do because there's so many supplies and things hidden um, behind glass, you know? Uh, it's one of those annoying things, to be honest. Um, right. Hang on, we've missed something. Uh, I thought there was an item in there. Something is tickling my brain on a... Desk. There is. There it is. How do I miss that? I wrote it down for you in a way uh, that you should finally be able to remember. Once you're in the lobby, look. Just look around. Now remember, nurses, doctors, trees, and my friends, that is how. We find uh, the the puzzle. Um, answer. So doctors, nurses, and there's trees. So you look at how many doctors, nurses, and trees there are, and that gives you the code for the padlock that you need. Kind of don't mind that. I thought that was a pretty interesting... Pretty interesting little uh, puzzle, if you ask me. Nice bullets. Wow, we are really approaching 200 bullets now. That's kind of crazy, actually. Yeah, we find ourselves in the underground. The hospital basement. No problem. I'm sure there's nothing too creepy in here. Oh. Yeah, we ain't going to be getting through there. Not anytime soon. Anyway. Right, keep your wits about you, love. Because this place looks a little bit creepy. Not with a dog key, we're not. Certainly not going to get anything happening with a dog key. At least, not yet. Danger close. Alright. Looks like... Ooh, didn't even see you. Get out of here. 
drop that empty magazine on his corpse. All right, so we've got a lot to explore now. And I, for one, am so down for it. Check those corners. We know what those mannequins are like. Those sneaky little sneaky bastards. Oh, let's talk of the devil. Ow. Honestly. That was a cheap shot. Well, do not attack Maria, please. I don't know if you actually can attack Maria. Whew. But uh, we're not going to let them if we can help it. Nice try, shit stain. Any more sausage wallets around here? Gasoline. Danger. Extremely flammable. But to be fair, gasoline generally is. That's sort of the whole purpose. Ooh. Yep, more of those things. Luckily, we're not too bothered about those things. So, where can we stick this then? Ah, oh, well, that's nice and easy. Ooh, nearly missed that. Nearly. So I guess that's going to lead us into that room. Ah, oh, hello. You know what? Let's give you a slap with the pipe. Ooh. Come on. Taste my pipe. Galvanize still. There we go. Whew. Get fucked. Oh, you got up. That's no good. Don't like that. Who do you think you are? What do you think of that, huh? Try and get up now. There you go, James. Break all of her legs, please. All 83 of them. All right. All right, Maria, I'm going over. Don't worry. I'll be right back. There you go. You can follow me now. Better. You can follow me now. It's fine. There you go. Bullets. At least we're sort of profiting with our ammo here. We have so many syringes, it's sort of mad. Give me the fuel can. Doesn't look like there's much in there. Also, this fuel container here, unless this is pressurized to some degree, um, there's going to be an awful lot of fuel left over, which is weird. You know, it doesn't seem to be a very efficient design, unless it's pressurized. Whatever. All right, let's go. So in theory... We've now searched this area somewhat thoroughly. Cool. Let's see if we can't spark up the uh, Jenny and get this thing moving. Now, another thing I might say is look at the freaking size of this generator. Look at those, look at the manifold there. Those cylinders. This is a powerful generator. 
I don't think a few drips from this uh, fuel can is going to keep it going for very long. But again, what do I know? Yay! You little sneaky son of a bitch. There we go. Maybe you should have been standing. You might have got a hit on. So you snuck out of this room, did you? Curious. Oh, don't mind if I do. Let's go up. Uh, we could go to the first floor. Which seems like a reasonable place to go. Because that way we can save the game. Because we are on half an hour. And when we come... Ooh, actually, where are we? There we are, we are here. Okay, that's fine. So, we've got the Jenny working. Let's go save the game. And then uh, we will head up to the next floor in the next video and start exploring. Hooray! We like making progress. Progress makes us happy. So, on that note, go, uh, on that note, games, on that note, guys, I will catch you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.